Welcome to this advice video tutorial. In this video you will hear more about the advantages of a version control, how you can configure the version control in advice and how you can use it in your advice project. The primary feature of a version control is to help keep track of all releases with implemented features and bug fixes in the developing process. In addition, a version control offers the management of variants, so you can manage individual versions for your customers. For example, you can develop a base project, implement separate features for customer A and customer B, and you can always merge these features into the base project. The version control is available from Advice version 3.5 and you can use it in combination with any current version control tool like GitLab, GitHub or SVN. In this tutorial we will show you how you can use the advice version control in combination with GitHub. Before you start please make sure you have already installed the GitHub desktop application and GitHub for Windows. Please also make sure you have already connected the GitHub desktop application with your GitHub account. We are providing a framework for this tutorial. You can find the link to the download in the video description. First we will create a new GitHub repository. Open the GitHub application. Click on File and then on New Repository. Enter a name for the repository. Choose a root directory as local path. This directory will also be the base directory which is used by advice. Click on Create Repository. Click on Publish Repository. Enter a name for the repository. Click on Publish Repository. You are now in the main branch of the new repository. Because of a limitation of the GitHub application, you first have to enter a command into the command prompt to allow longer file names. Open the Windows command line tool and enter the following command. git config minus minus global core dot long paths true and confirm the command with enter. Close the command line tool. After creating the repository we can now save the advice project in it. Open a reference project which should be the base for further developments. To enable the version control, click on version control in the main menu and then on edit configuration. Click on the directory selection button and choose the base directory of the version control. The base directory is the directory which is used as the root directory by the version control tool. Click on select and then on ok. Now we will export the project to create the directory and file structure which is the base for the version control. Click on version control and then on export project. The dialog window for the settings of the project export opens. The input field for the base directory is already filled with the previously configured base directory. If necessary you can adjust it again here. If a relative path has been defined here, this path will always be relative to the advice project directory. The node selection input shows which elements of the project will be exported. If you open the project export via the main menu item version control, the node selection will always be set to whole project. If you open the project export dialog via the context menu of a single object of your project, then the node selection shows just the selected object. If you have selected more than one object in the project tree and you open the export dialog via the context menu, then the node selection shows multiple nodes selected. With the checkbox recursive, you can select if all child nodes will be exported. With the checkbox include dependencies checked, the corresponding object types of the object instances will also be exported. By checking the checkbox delete surplus nodes, Child nodes that only exist in the file system but not in the address space are deleted. Please be careful using this function because a wrong usage can lead to losses in your project structure. The checkbox override metadata and values defines if all values from the source file 
will be copied to the export target file. The checkbox including values in the advice folder objects defines whether the values in the folder agent.objects will be overwritten during the import or export. This option is deactivated by default to prevent overwriting current process values. The metadata gets overwritten in any case. Click on OK. Your project will now be exported to the directory. In the main menu in the Advice Builder under View, open the Node Browser and then the Base Directory and the Windows Explorer. You can see that the file structure in the Explorer corresponds to the structure in the Node Browser. At the end of the file and folder names, a hash had been added to avoid collisions between file names. This is necessary when using different operating systems. For example, Windows is case sensitive, but Linux isn't. Open the GitHub application. You can now see the added files. Enter a commit message, for example init, and click on commit to main. Click on push origin to upload the data to the GitHub server. To demonstrate the version control feature, we assume a customer who orders graphical adjustments to an object. To match the design of existing objects, the control elements should be placed beside the chart. Switch to the GitHub application. Now we create a new branch where we'll continue working. Click on Current Branch and then on New Branch. Enter a name and click on Create Branch. Click on Push Branch. Open the Advice Builder. Close the Node Browser. Open the Main Display. Open the Reference Display of the object by right-clicking on the object and clicking on Edit Referenced Display. You can also find the display in the project structure under Object Types Engine Overview. Move the elements based on the requirements of the customer and save the display. Close the main display and open it again to assure that all changes take effect. Because just parts of the project have been changed and are therefore relevant for the update, we will just export a subtree of the project. Do a right click on the object and then go to Version Control – Export Nodes. You can now see the base directory is already filled and the node selection shows just the selected object. All underlying objects will be exported recursive. Click on OK to start the export. Switch to the GitHub application. You can now see all changes. Enter a commit message and click on Commit to Branch. Click on Push Origin. If you want to include this feature to the base project, you can now create a pull request. You will be forwarded to a GitHub landing page where you can create a pull request. Before you confirm the pull request and merge the branch with the customer changes into the main branch, change locally back to the main branch where no changes were made. Open the Advice Builder and close all files. Change locally back to the main branch where no changes were made. Click on Version Control and then on Import Project. Import the project. Open the main display. You can see that the changes are not yet visible in the main branch. Switch back to the GitHub Online application and click on Merge Pull Request and Confirm Merge. Open the GitHub application and click on Fetch Origin and then on Pull Origin to update all local changes. Your main branch is now up to date. Switch to the Builder and close all files. Click on Version Control and then on Import Project. Click on OK. Open the main display once more. You can see that the changes are now visible in the main branch and therefore part of the base project. Because you can enter all files via the file system, you can also make changes in the text editor. 
For demonstration purpose, we will delete the engine object from the main display. Open the Windows Explorer with the base directory. Navigate to Objects, Agent, Displays, Main and open the SVG file with a text editor, for example Notepad++. Delete the SVG element of the engine object and save the SVG file. Switch to the Advice Builder and close the main display. Import the project. Open the main display. You can see that we deleted the engine object successfully from the main display. In the GitHub application you can see all changes. You can discard them at any time. To do so, right click on the changes and click on Discard Changes. Confirm the discard action. Open the Advice Builder and close the main display. Because it is just a small change in a part of the project, we'll just import a subtree of it. To do so, right click on the main display and select Version Control. Import Notes. You can see that just the main display will be imported. Click on OK to start the import. Open the main display. You can see that the removal of the object is reversed. Congratulations, you have successfully configured the version control, exported the project, made changes and imported the changes. Thank you for watching this advice video tutorial. For more information, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us on advice.com.